So hi, hello and welcome again and uh, today I want to talk about highlighters and as a matter of fact I would like to show you a method of uh, using the highlighter in the most effective and meaningful way. Uh, many of you have uh, of course been using highlighters already but I suppose that you've not been using it most efficiently because when I see my students highlight a text that they read um, sometimes what I see is that they highlight pretty much every word in the paragraph uh, that they are reading and then when I ask them well why did you highlight everything or what did you highlight and I get the response yeah I highlight the things that are important but when I see that everything's been highlighted I ask them okay why did you highlight everything then and I get the response, well, because everything's important. And of course, this kind of uh, defies the purpose, uh, defeats the purpose of a highlighter, um, because if everything is painted yellow, uh, then of course uh, you cannot distinguish the text anymore from the highlighted from the non-highlighted part, right? Uh, so this is actually one um, extreme uh, way how um, highlighters have been used, and I think it's not the most effective way. Now, um, many other students, what they do, and I think that's already a step into the right direction, is, is that they highlight only the key words of which they have to know the definitions for example. I think that's already a good uh, step into the right direction um, however I think there is still a better um, way of going about that uh, because if you highlight only the key words then you're still not able to understand the text when you only read those key words and the idea is and this is what I want to show you in this video is, is that you highlight the text in such a way that you're able to extract meaning from the text if you only read the highlighted versions and what I want to simply summarize here is the following is, is you also have to highlight the verbs that is a very important thing and I'm going to show you now um, how to do that uh, and I'm going to be using again the Wikipedia text of Albert Einstein so what you do is is uh, you simply try to read through the text and highlight all of the verbs and the associated objects in this case so because we know that the text is about Albert Einstein I do not have to um, highlight uh, the, the subject of the sentence which is in most cases Einstein himself. So what I'm just, just doing I'm highlighting only the verbs and the objects of the verbs and what you can do then as a final step is, is you can then write out these words in your notebook on a sheet of paper and you're still able to extract meaning now this highlighting method of course allows you to speed read because when you revise for an exam all you have to do is, is you have to only read the highlighted parts of your text and you're still able to understand what the text uh, is about or you can uh, type out uh, those highlighted parts and you can make a bullet pointed list uh, as a summary so to say and then you can study this list and uh, it still contains uh, pretty much all of the information that you need some people do not like bullet pointed lists, they prefer to study uh, by text, uh, by having complete sentences, uh, complete texts and um, in that case it's quite easy and uh, fast to convert those bullet points into complete sentences because after all you have uh, the verbs uh, already included here. So it takes uh, only a very short time to convert the bullet pointed list uh, back into a paragraph. Just a short word of warning though because I do not want that you get in any troubles uh, with uh, your teacher or with your university or school. Uh, a writing summaries like this might still be considered plagiarism because you still retained the overall same sentence structure, the same verbs and also the same sequence of thoughts. So you have to be aware that you have to change it around much more in order to, for this uh, to be considered not plagiarized. But if you simply want to keep the notes for yourself for study purposes, of course, this is perfectly fine. So this was a quick uh, suggestion uh, for uh, using highlighters in a more effective way. Um, if you consider this, uh, these videos useful, then I would like to kindly ask you to consider subscribing, please. Um, and otherwise I say have a nice day and see you around next time again. Bye bye.